Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our yin class today. We're actually going to begin on our backs, so you can get comfortable on your backs with knees bent. Take just a couple of minutes to feel into your body here. Let the senses settle. Closing eyes, perhaps. Dropping into that steady breath. And for today's class, once again, we're going to be working into the organs and meridian lines connected to the liver and gallbladder for spring and the wood element. And we'll open up other areas of the body as well. So before we slip into our yin poses, we will do those fascial stretches just at the top of class, not too much today. And that will not only help us access those areas a little better once we open the fascia, will also help with the support and space around the pelvic girdle, around the sacrum. Just noticing how the breath is moving now. Noticing that easy lift in the belly, soft fall of the belly. Let's place one hand on the low belly or wherever is just comfortable on that lower region. And then bring the other hand just under the nose with your index finger extended. And just feel the breath as it's moving in and out of the nostrils with that finger just below the nostrils. And see if you can bring more softness to the inhale and exhale so that you almost feel nothing passing your finger without straining if it feels stressful then come back to a steady breath and this will give us the inclination to want to take a deeper breath so if you need to go ahead but just stay with this, feeling that very soft inhale, passing the finger, and exhale, making it softer each time. Just another few rounds like this. Very inclined to take these deep breaths in yoga, right? And just working with this softer side of the breath. Good, you can release your arms and just notice that low belly with your hand on top of the low belly now. Come back to that movement. there's any intention that you'd like to set for today's practice, anything that's been coming up for you this past week, over the weekend, just bring it into your heart space, seal it in. And I will offer the idea of space, the 
space between our breaths, the space where energy flows in the body, the space that we can create in our joints so we feel better and spaciousness in the mind. Nice. And now staying where you are on your back, And crossing the right foot over the left leg, just above the knee. We're gonna come into our figure four activations, fascial stretching for the outside of the leg into the glute for the gallbladder meridian. Lift the left foot off the floor, reach around with your hands behind the left leg. I should have mentioned this, but we can use the bolster under our shoulders and neck for a little lift if we like. So if you'd like to get your bolster and prop it under the back body, go ahead and do that. And once we have the hands behind the left leg, move the left leg away slightly so that the arms are more extended long without locking out the elbows. Push the right leg into the left, keep pushing the right leg away, and then use the arms to drag the left leg in. When you feel the resistance start to fade, release it and start again. Extending arms, pushing the right leg into the left, so keep pushing the right leg away from you, and then you use the hands to draw the leg in. Release. Pushing the right leg away, using the arms to draw the leg in. Notice if the right knee is externally rotating, allow it to be in a natural place. So just allow it to kind of come in slightly, not pushing it out. And then you'll notice you're getting into the gluteal region a little bit more. Good, pushing away and then using those hands to draw it in. It's this resistance with the elongation of the muscles on the outside of the leg now that will create change in the fascia. It's like a scrubbing from the inside out, cleaning up old fascia, old debris, bringing hydration to the area, restructuring the fascia so that we have better energy flow through the area. Energy flows in the path of least resistance. So if the fascia is very dense, we will get some stagnation. Let's do one more. I know the leg is speaking to us right now. Good, release the hands, lift the legs up, give them a shake. Mm -hmm. And now we switch sides. So crossing the right foot over the, sorry, left foot over the right knee now. Clasping behind the right knee. Pushing the right leg, left leg into the right and extending the arms slightly without locking the elbows. Keep pushing left leg away. Use the hands to draw the leg in. Again, notice if the knee is pushing away from you, allow it to come in slightly so that we can work into that entire area of the glutes. Pushing leg away, drawing it in. And we have just one more exercise after this, and then we'll move right into yin. Pushing leg away, drawing it in. So this is the gallbladder meridian line. Runs outside the leg. Actually starts at the outer corner of the eyes. Zigzags across the head, moves down the back of the head, down the outside of the body, down the side and down the sides of the legs between, and then runs through the feet between the fourth and fifth toe. And this is an area that we can 
access the tissues most readily on the IT band. And this area of tissue, when it's tight, this on the inner leg, adductors and abductors, they can compress the sacrum. Good, last one here. Nice, lift the legs, shake them. And now with feet lifted in the air, we're just gonna squeeze the legs together, bring the hands inside the knees. So the legs are extended up, hands come inside the knees, squeezing legs together. Use the hands to open the legs. Release, squeezing legs together, hands open the legs. Keep squeezing <laughs> the legs together as the hands open the legs. Now we're in liver channel. Liver doing many, many things for us. Squeezing legs together. Regulates hormones and histamine in the body as well. So if you have seasonal allergies, this is one is very helpful to do so that the liver can process, not regulate, but process those extra irritants in the body. Last one, good. Bring the knees into the chest. And just allow the knees to sink into the body. Take a breath here, holding the shins. Let's take a little rock and roll side to side, massaging the low back as we breathe. Good. Just noticing the low back, if there's anything that's coming up for you, that's sore, if there's a place that is tight, land on it, take a nice deep breath on that tender spot. Exhale and then pulse the knees in and away from the body for a little massage on that spot. I haven't done these in class for a while and I'm noticing how much less I have spots in my low back from doing this fascial work. My back feels very comfortable, it's lovely. Good, and then back left and right. Maybe find a spot on the other side where you'd like to give it a little attention. Take a deep breath into that spot. Exhale. And then again, pulsing knees in and away just to bring some massage into the area. A little extra blood flow. Very nice, and coming back through center. Does everyone have a strap? Yes. Yes, good, okay, you can stand your backs. I was just gonna roll up to get your strap. So we're gonna be working with our straps now. Bring your bolster to the outside of your left leg. I'm gonna be using our straps to work into the inner thighs and outer leg now. Sorry, Dinesh, I didn't have a bolster for you. Okay. So bring the bolster at about rib cage down. We're gonna use it as a little wedge under the left leg. Lift your left foot up, looping the strap around the base of the foot. Don't force any stretch here. Just notice the back of the leg, soft bend in the knee. And having this bolster alongside the left hip. We're now going to slowly bring the left leg out to the left and allowing that bolster to sort of hold the leg, right? So we're not going for our deepest stretch here. As always in my class, mind your first edge. So it's often the case that we wanna open up very wide in this posture and in the end, it's really important to be with that first edge of resistance. And 
and you can reposition the hands if you need on the strap. I like to make sure that my right shoulder and elbow are nicely planted on the floor for support. Option to have the right knee bent or you can extend the right leg long. And just be with this for several rounds of breath as we begin to open up those adductors once again, connecting with this liver channel that runs down the length of the inner leg. Keep a soft bend in the knee. We're not, we want not um, locking out the knee. Just another couple cycles of breath here. Last inhale here. And on your exhale, begin to draw the leg up. Come through center for a moment, pause. And now begin to bring the left leg over to the right side a few inches and flex the foot and imagine the left heel lifting up towards the sky. So try to almost drag the left heel up. And I like to bring my strap on the outside of my leg, outside the leg past the knee and almost energize into the strap. Soft bend in the knee, just really feeling that energy line in the outside of the leg now. Repositioning the hands as you need. few breaths here and then we're going to bring a little movement into the leg. Good. Now just a little sweeping of the leg down towards the right foot and then up towards the head slightly, not overdoing it, just be with your own range here. Mm -hmm. Good, and then draw that leg back up to center. Notice the leg in the, the femur bone in the socket. See if you can drop that leg down towards the floor. Feel it settle on down into the back, back body. Good. Bend the knee, remove the strap, extend the leg long for a moment. Allowing that blood to move down through the leg once again, should feel nice. Good, and now we're going to switch the bolster, bring it over, just roll it on over your body, over to the right side and kind of wedge it in under the right side slightly. Lifting the right foot now, looping the strap around the base of the foot, beginning to extend the leg. Again, not pushing it up to the sky, just noticing. And then slowly begin to open over to the right allowing that left arm to come down to the floor for support so that you've got the back of the arm connected with the floor. 
we're not floating the arm and finding that first place of resistance here for the inner thigh. If you prefer to have a bent knee on the left leg, go ahead, bend that knee. bring your mind's eye to this line of energy down the leg. Imagine once again creating this space in the tissues. Creating space for energy to move. This is our liver channel once again. It's very much the expressive, creative, component of the wood element and the gallbladder provides the stability for the growth and expression. Imagine this energy moving all the way up into your liver. Fresh chi. The liver is under the right rib cage. Imagine that energy moving. And take one more breath here. Inhale and on the exhale, slowly lift that leg back up. And then bring the strap to the outside line of the leg now. As you begin to bring the leg down to the left slightly, bending the knee a little bit more, turning the right foot down towards the floor slightly so the heel comes up towards the sky. And almost as if you could energize leg into strap. We're not on this side quite as long. Feeling this energy now down the outside of the leg, gallbladder channel. Just begin to move the foot a little bit away down towards the left foot and then towards your head slightly not overdoing it just again sort of exploring that range you have here moving within it not past it as one of my teachers would say we're here to improve not to prove right here to improve good inhale lift the foot back up towards the ceiling once again feeling that drop of the leg into the into the socket feel the hip bones sink down towards the floor nice release Release the foot, the strap, extend the leg long. You can move the strap aside now. Just be with those after sensations of the posture. Good. And now bring your bolster. Um, we're going to be propping it under our waist. We're going to be lifting up and propping the bolster under our left waist. So rolling onto your left side and using that bolster under the waist and then lying down. So we create this nice side opening for the right side. 
And once you arrive, if anyone feels their bolster is too high, let me know and I will get one of the smaller bolsters and you can um, play with that one and see how it feels. Yeah, you can try it out, right? It can feel like a very deep bend. So I'm gonna just get to the other one, Dinesh, so you can kind of experiment with it. It's okay? Yeah. All right, you can always explore and see. Here's the other one for you to try it out. And then play with the positioning of your legs. Maybe we bend the knees slightly rather than have legs fully extended. That may feel better. And you can always as well stagger the legs, right? So the right leg can shift off and in front or behind. And I have my arms extended out and in prayer <laughs> position. But if that's a lot on the shoulders, just bend the right arm. Bring the right hand in front of the face. You can bend the left elbow slightly. Always finding that position for your body that is sustainable. This one's really nice. We don't open the side body as much in yin. So this one feels very nice through the side ribs, bringing space to those intercostal muscles. Noticing how the ribs can lift to the side, not just front and back. And once again, we can be with the physical organ of the liver and gallbladder, both organs situated on the right side here. Soften those fingertips. If your hands are in prayer, just notice if your hands are tense and bring some softness to those fingers. Remember that soft breath that we worked with. here for another 40 seconds or so. Soften the jaw, the teeth. Good, last inhale here. A little more full. Exhale, if your right arm is extended, slide it down in front of your chest, your left shoulder. Press into the right hand and then up to the left. Come up for a moment and just be with that echo of the posture, noticing difference in left and right here. I'm feeling warmth all the way up through the side of my head on that one. Let those sensations just fade. And then we take it to the other side. So you guys can just turn to the other side. I'm going to switch the positioning of my bolster. So I'm facing you, but you can just turn around and then make your way onto your right side here with the bolster. And again, checking in with positioning, right? What served you on the first side 
may need some adjustment on this side depending on the shoulder, the hips. So making those adjustments if you need. Otherwise, arms can be long in prayer position here. Or you can have that left elbow bent, knees softly bent or extended longer. Take a few moments to ease into the shape. Fidget as you need, reposition. And then find your stillness. Find our first edge. Then we find stillness in the posture and then we hold. And those are the three elements of our yin practice. I like to always add the fourth, which is coming out of the posture slowly. So again, soften those fingertips. Notice if the shoulders are tensing up into the neck or head and see if you can bring some space there as we breathe more space into the side rib. And as well, this gallbladder channel runs right up this side of the body, right through the rib cage. So again, we're accessing that energy line. And even if we don't have the physical organ of the gallbladder, we still have the meridian line, so we can still connect with those energy components to help nourish the liver even more. And we take our final inhale here bringing it a little deeper into the low belly. And then exhaling, sliding that left hand down in front of the right shoulder, slowly pushing into the left hand, right arm. We'll come on up to a seat for a moment. Mm. And just check in with those sensations. into a child's pose. So coming onto hands and knees. Maybe swaying the hips left and right for a moment. And bring the knees wide. Feet can be together. Begin to slide down into your child. I like to use the bolster or block behind my seat and my heels. And then you can use a block for your head if you like or just come on down to the mat onto the back of your hands or arms can be extended long so finding whatever really suits your body here forehead can be on the mat forehead can be on a block you don't have to use any props if you do not want to Really settle into this very grounding posture. Very introspective kind of shape. Noticing that breath. If your forehead is on the mat, you can once again connect with that flow of breath through the nostrils and see if you can soften it.
mind going off into our list of things we need to attend to. Bring it back to that breath. Bring it back to where you're feeling stress in the body, as in positive stress, the pull of the tissues, the gentle pull. Connect with those places and the sensations. And from here now, last breath, we're going to lift the head just slightly. Thread the right arm underneath the left. Just threading that right arm underneath the left, settling down onto the right temple on the block or the mat. Option to bring the left arm up and wrap it around the low back if that feels nice, or just hanging out on the mat. Using this twist for a couple of breaths. opening for the back of the arm into the shoulders. Perhaps being with any sounds that you're hearing now with your right ear close to the mat. Any echoey sounds. Just two more breaths here. Drawing in another inhale. And as you exhale, slowly lift head, push into the left hand. Plant the right hand on the mat and then thread the left arm under the right and come down to the left <laughs> temple. Notice if there's tension in the left fingertips. Just cue those fingertips to soften in. And similarly, cue the right hand to be soft. Of course, we can also lift the right hand and wrap it around the low back. But even here, cueing those fingers to soften. Noticing the quality of the breath here. Breath keeps us in the moment.
last inhale. If you have that right arm wrapped, unwind, bring it back to the mat, press into the right hand, lift up. Just come to a kneeling for a moment and sense into any after pulses, <laughs> sensations, movement of fluids in the tissues. Good, blinking eyes open and bringing our bolster on the mat lengthwise now. And bringing our blocks to support our knees. So coming to the mat, seat on the mat, low back on the base of the bolster, bringing the blocks to support the knees or the outside of the thighs. We're gonna come into butterfly shape here and then lowering down to the bolster. And you may want an extra prop under the head, a second bolster to lift the head or a blanket. Option to bring the arms out to a T here may feel very nice for the chest. We're gonna be in this pose for longer. We're really going to allow the front body here to open up. Once again, moving into the groin for the liver channel. Also, this is the kidney channel, slightly different position, but we act as it here. And then opening through the heart space, heart meridian here with the arms and the lungs. So drop into your position, your shape, finding the support you need, not over stretching here. If anything feels like it's pulling too much, support the body more. We want some pull, slight stretch, but not over stretching. When we do it, it tends to move into the joints and we don't want that. So softening the angle of the arms if you need. Just really enjoying this openness in the front body. I'm going to turn down the lights. And if you have the blocks on the outside of the thighs, which everyone does here, we're also targeting a, an acupressure point for the gallbladder here. And it can be a bit of a sensitive spot. So if you're feeling that tenderness in that placement where the block is, you're probably connecting with that acupressure place that's a bit tender. So we can allow the pressure of those blocks to work a little magic here. Feel the softness of the knees, or not the knees, uh, apologies, the feet. Feel the softness of the feet connecting, the toes connecting. Feel those little spaces between the toes, between each toe and where the toes meet. Little spaces that we never mind, never pay attention to. The space where the arches are in the feet. And coming up through the legs. Notice the opening of the legs, of course, this obvious shape we're making with the legs. Notice the space in the back of the knees. And then coming up into the hips. The space in the hip girdle.
space around the hip flexors. Noticing the low back where it's meeting the bolster and then that space underneath. <coughs> Moving up the torso, feeling that lift of the breath again. How oh, that's bringing so much space into the body. Finding those fingertips to curl in and feeling that little hollow that the fingers make between the palms. Noticing the spine meeting the bolster. back of the shoulders, that little hollow where your neck is. How much opening we're creating in the chest. And now part the teeth. Create more space in the jaw. And soften the eye. And be with this soft space for the rest of the posture now. going to be here another minute.
your exhale, slowly slide your hands, arms down, and bring them underneath your thighs and use your hands to help lift your legs, your knees back up, feet on the mat. Pause here. And then shift off to one side and just push that bolster out of the way. Then slowly come down to your back body. You can move the bolsters out of the way or the blocks, pardon me. And knees are bent, just noticing the body on the mat once again. <coughs> Giving the tissues a minute to rebound here. We can also open the feet wider, so about as wide as the mat, and allow the knees to drop in. Just a little counter pose for the legs and the hips should feel nice. And while the knees are settling here, bring the hands underneath the head and run them along the ridge of your back skull. So come right to the center of the back of your neck and then run your fingers down that bony ridge, the occiput, and then allow your fingers to land in that soft little space, a little divot here and use the fingers sort of like little, um, almost like little, I don't wanna say claws, but just to use the fingers to massage or apply pressure into those spaces. This is another acupressure point. So you can hold them and just slowly rock the head a little left and right or you can just hold the head still. This is an area that gets tender when we're fighting a cold. It's a nice one to do. Just notice the tenderness as you move the fingers or the head. Let's just walk the feet back so the knees are pointing up and feet are in line with the hips once again. Release the hands and bring the index finger to the outer corner of the eye. Outer corner of each eye. So left index finger on the outer corner of the left eye and right index finger on the corner of the right eye, outer corner. And just hold or little massage here. And this is where the gallbladder channel begins. Another acupressure point. And when we support the gallbladder, it supports the liver. Lots of Lots of wood element information for you guys today, but just a little massage to feel nice anyways. We tend to hold a lot of tension in the eye. Good. You can release the fingers, maybe shake the hands. Bring the arms long alongside your body, extend the feet long, as wide as the mat or wider. We're setting up for Shavasana now, so if you want a blanket, you can cover up. Find your comfortable Shavasana if you'd like to have the bolster under your knees. And I'm gonna play some music now for Shavasana. Allow everything in the body to feel nice and supported by the earth, nice and heavy here. And reminding those fingers once again to soften, curl in.
jaw to be nice and soft once again. Teeth can part if that's comfortable. And enjoy your Shavasana. just yet. Being with this stillness, being with this space that you've created in your body, in your breath, in your mind, in your energy. Taking a moment to that in. Just appreciate it. And now as you're ready, beginning to move the hands and the feet, waking up the body very slowly, perhaps turning head left and right. bringing a little Mona Lisa smile to the face. And then taking a deeper inhale. And as you exhale, rolling 
over to your left side in fetal position. We take a couple of breaths in fetal for the body to adjust. We are on our backs a long time, so just giving the body a moment to reconnect here. And pushing into your right hand, making your way up to a seat so we may close out class together. Bringing the hands together in prayer, just in front of the heart, perhaps nuzzling the thumbs against the sternum, taking a deep inhale to appreciate yourself, appreciate this practice. And exhale. And I wish you all a beautiful day. Blessings and namaste. Take your time, everyone.